हेलो रमन वेलकम टू पार्ट 134 ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन लारावल एट सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन दी ऑर्डर डिटेल्स दैट वी आर शोइंग फ्रॉम लास्ट फ्यू वीडियो एंड सी हियर दैट आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑफ एनी ऑफ दी यूजर ऑर्डर यूजर कैन एबल टू व्यू दी डिटेल्स ऑफ दी ऑर्डर ओके सो वेन एवर यूजर विल प्लेस ऑर्डर इट विल कम इन हिज अकाउंट इट विल कम इन हिज ऑर्डर सेक्शन ऑर्डर मोडूल okay after that he can uh, open the details of any of the order like he can open this one then the complete details of the order is coming up uh, he can able to see the order details delivery address and order product details the product uh, he have placed in this order okay so now in this video we are going to show the product image as well okay along with the product information we are going to show the product image as well if in basic e-commerce series we have not shown so much details we have not shown the image as well okay but here in advanced e-commerce series we are going to show the complete order details along with the image okay so in this video we are going to show the product image as well in the order details okay so let's start so first of all we are going to create so all these files we are going to close that we have uh, worked on in the last video okay uh, so i think uh, there is okay there is one thing we have done okay so we can open we can close all the files and now we can open the product model product.php file and here we can create one function and that function is to get the product main image okay so we want to get the product main image and for that we are going to create one function so that we can use that product main image uh, there in order details so that the user will come to know that which product uh, he ordered for uh, so here we will give public static function and we can name this function like get product image and in this we are going to pass we are going to pass the product id like this and here uh, we will uh, see here the product id will come up and uh, with this product id we are going to fetch the product image main product image that uh, is located in the products table we can open the products table for the clarity and we will get the image from this products table and you can see here uh, we can get the main image from this column okay of the products table so we are fetching this one so with this product id we can able to fetch this main image and now we can uh once again we'll give like this get product image from the product model and only product uh, image only main image is required so we can select the main image only uh, no other column is required so only the column that we require we will just select that column where id is dollar product id so we can uh, just use first along with the two array now every query we are converting to two array uh, so that we can get the result in array only and uh, we can check once here and uh, but uh, but we need to call this function okay so no issue uh, we can uh, use like this get product image and uh, here uh, sorry uh, it is in array so main image like this die so we will call this function uh, there in order details and we can call this function somewhere where uh, so we want to display somewhere here and we are going to display at the first column we can display here product image and here also we will do like this and here uh, we can call that function uh, we can simply call that function uh, like uh, echo uh, from product model and that product model we need to include as well okay uh, product model get product image and uh, inside this we are going to 
pass the product id like this okay so now it seems to be fine uh, but uh, we need to check once that the product image is coming up or not and so now we can refresh here and okay yeah model we need to add we can add the model at the top here use a product now we can refresh again and you can see the product image is coming up here okay you can see here so it uh, seems to be working fine see two product images are coming up one is this one and one is this one because it's in loop so that's why okay two product are there so two times it is displaying uh, so now uh, we can simply uh, return this one and we'll remove die now now we are returning the product image and uh, we can display here uh, so we will pick this one in uh, one variable get product image variable or uh, we can simply uh, make uh, another variable if you uh, want some another variable okay no issue we can keep it like this and after that uh, now we want to display it here and for displaying we will require image tag tag this time okay so image src and uh, check once that where uh, our images are stored in our project we will open the project folder as we do as we docs ecom public images products images and here uh, so we are going to display the small uh, product okay here so we will pick the small path here uh, so we will use that a set here a set images product underscore images then small after that uh, we can do it like this dollar get product image okay so here uh, we can close this one so this is the image source for us and uh, we can check once whether it is displaying or not and refresh here and you can see the product images are coming up okay so but they are too big we can give that uh, style width we can give uh, width like 80 pixel like this okay so now it seems to be fine product image product code product name product site product color and product quantity okay so now uh, the complete information of the uh, order is coming up and here uh, we can give the url product url as well so that the user can able to view the product detail okay if he will click on this one then the separate uh, link will open with the product detail okay so that thing we can also give up here and we for that we will check the url uh, once uh, that this is the url we want to open okay so that is the simple enough uh, we will give the link as well it's riff and here we can give the url and here check once this is uh, product okay product slash and then we will pass the product id okay product id we're already having so this product id we can give it here and along with that we will give the target blank we can give the target blank okay so that uh, the product will open in new window okay so now we can close this one and we will refresh this one and you can see uh, we can 
user can check the order details and you can uh, user can check the ordered product details these two products he has ordered for and he can check the details as well after clicking on this one see the product detail will open okay product page will open okay so he can open the products as well okay so now we able to show the product images along with their links in the order details so the complete information is coming up now uh, so user can able to assess the complete information of all the orders he can able to check okay so so now it seems to be pretty much fine so now uh, this order section uh, at user panel is over uh, we uh, can able to user can able to assess his orders details but now we will do this orders module in admin panel uh, because the admin is required the complete order details uh, so that he can process them further uh, so in next video we are going to work on the admin panel to show the complete order details to show all orders and the details of the order and in uh, further videos we will also uh, will work on the order invoices as well and we'll do the shipping module as well okay so stay tuned for that so that's all for now and if you have any queries you can surely contact me and do join this tech developers channel to get this code okay to get the full support along with the other code as well okay so do join the stack developer channel so uh, so that uh, uh, you can able to get the code as well okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye